This is an unedited recording from Mano PM461. I am sitting at the distance of 4 to 6 inches from the microphone with the gain set to plus 5. This is a proximity test from Mano PM461. I am sitting at the distance of 2 inches from the microphone and the gain is set to plus 5. This is an unedited recording from Mano PM461. I am sitting at a distance of around 10 to 12 inches from the microphone. This is the ambient noise testing of Mano PM461. I am tapping on my computer. You can also hear any background noise. I am at the distance of 4 inches from the microphone and this is the sound quality. This is the recording from Mano PM461. I am recording from the side of the microphone. Now this is a voice recording from the back side of the microphone. I am sitting at the distance of 2 to 3 inches. I do feel that the mic does pick up the surrounding sound and also the ambient noise and also if you are tapping something on your keyboard, if you are playing games or doing a streaming, it is slightly sensitive. For my voice, I can feel that the best results can come when I am sitting at a distance of 4 inches from the microphone. So now I will be testing some Pelosive words. So let's see how does it sound without the windscreen and with the windscreen. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. A peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked. Where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? Now let's take a listen to the same paragraph with the windscreen on. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. If Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers, where's the peck of pickled peppers Peter Piper picked? And now I'll be using my Shure SM7B microphone. So now I have switched to my main microphone, Shure SM7B. I am not doing any comparison between these two microphones as Shure SM7B is a legendary microphone so it will be unfair to compare both these microphones. Overall I would say the microphone has a very good sound quality. I would definitely say it's a value for money microphone. You need to be slightly careful while recording as you need to be in a treated room to avoid some background noise as the mic is quite sensitive to pick up the ambient noise. It's made out of plastic and aluminium, so it's quite lightweight, it's very portable, it's easy to carry anywhere, but doesn't have that premium feel to it. But definitely it's a value for money microphone. You're getting a decent sound quality for a very good price. So if you're a beginner or you're starting your channel as a content creator, I would say definitely you can go for this microphone. And as your channel will grow, you can definitely, you know, upgrade your microphones. I really enjoy it and I really like the sound quality coming out of this microphone. So guys, that's it for this video. If you like the video, kindly hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. See you all soon in my next video. Till then, goodbye, peace and blessings.